Okay, it's beer o'clock again on the Real Ale Guide today. We've got a beer from Flying Dog Brewing Company. It's a bottle of their Wildman, Wildman Farmhouse IPA. Ale brewed with spices. And it's coming in at 7.5% ABV. I just want to turn the label slowly. What a wonderful design again by Ralph Steadman. I am a fan. A big fan of these labels. There's a flying dog cap. Let's get this beer open into a glass and see what we get. Just yet, yeah, big fan of the labels. I think it's a big thing now. Oh, look at that smoke! Let's get this beer out into a glass then. Yeah, there was a big feature in a, a pub magazine I was reading just last month and they featured how a beer, the labels being marketed, is being actually designed these days. Um, it's not just enough anymore to sit down and just scribble on the back of a, 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 a piece of paper and go, yeah, do you know what, this is fine. They're actually bringing in designers to design the labels. And they featured Flying Dog in this magazine just to say that they kind of pioneered this, pioneered this whole um, craze that a lot of people are doing. Magic Rock in the UK, great design on their labels. Um, yep, I'm a big fan of art design. I think you've got to put the effort in. Okay, white head on the beer. It's a two finger head. Beer in the glass. Look at that. Lovely beer fizzing away, loads of carbonation, golden in colour, slightly, I don't know, maybe, yeah, slightly hazy I'd say. Let's get a nose on this 7.5% IPA then. Wow, wow, it just made me pick my foot up and knock it back down again, it was like a, ooh. Okay, chock full of American hops. It's, it's got a smell, it's got a sense of coriander about it as well. An orange peel. But it's most definitely that big, juicy kind of Simcoe Centennial Chinook. Them big American hops. I'm going to dig into this one. Cheers, everybody. Oh, oh yeah, that hits the spot. It's a little bit of a sour, spicy finish. You get that big onrush of American hops up front. It's juicy, it's orangey, it's spicy, it's a bit of coriander maybe, as I said. In the nose is certainly following on the taste. Lemon, lime, lemon peel. As if you just sunk your teeth into lemon peel. That really kind of sharp bitterness. Ooh. And it's bitter. That bitterness you would expect from the beer certainly kicks through from the hops. It really is there. Um, as always, I'm going to see if it's a bottle conditioned beer. I don't think Flying Dog beer is a bottle conditioned. There you go. Certainly might be unfil unfiltered. Big ice cream head on it now. Let's give the bottle a bit of a read because it's an interesting story regarding an axe. Um, Wilderman, his axe is stained with the blood of a thousand adversaries. We fall in behind him as he leads us into the darkness. He turns his gaze on us. Tentanda via est. The way must be tried. Okay. That was a bit of a kind of burp filled 
read on the side of the bottle, I do apologise. Um, it's what you get from reviewing beer, I'm afraid. You have a couple of mouthfuls and it, it wants to come straight back up. So my apologies if you're watching for the first time. What do I think of Flying Dog Worldman? A Worldman. It's nice. It's really nice. Um, it's 7.5%. You probably wouldn't think it was a beer at 7.5%. Don't drink like that. It drinks more like a 6% IPA. So well done there on the uh, on kind of masking the alcohol um, tones on the beer. It's very fruity. It's vi I was going to say vinous then. That was a bit of a mistake. It's it's very fruity. It's it's orangey. It's 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 lemon. It's refreshing. It's carbonated. Be a kind of pushes around on the inside of your mouth, releases all them flavours. It's nice and bitter. I like it. I'm going to give this beer an 8 out of 10. It's an 8 out of 10 beer from The Real Ale Guide. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to my daily beer reviews. And cheers.